that we had set last year, 18, it broke that record. As well as our school. And that was Minnesota. You know, you may not have this, but well, I, 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 I believe that was the last time anybody put 100 on Illinois in regulation since Indiana did it in 91. You ain't on it. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> You know everything. Grace, you ready? <laughs> Come on. All right, no questions. All yeah. right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yogi, can you just talk about setting the record? Uh, you know, that's a great honor. And, you know, I play with a lot of great guys coming up. You know, Victor Aladipo, Cody Zeller, Jordan Holes, Christian Wofford. Um, you know, that's what I like to be. I like to be a facilitator for my team. And, you know, I feel like I've got to know, know my teammates very well all four years. You know, the guys that's coming in here in and out. So I basically know where they're going to be on the court. And, you know, I know they like their threes. And, you know, that's all I got to do is just basically get the ball to them. And then, you know, they make the magic happen. Oh, is that what it was? I ain't doing that either. Oh, I got twenty dollars for you. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I mean, I wasn't really trying to force the issue. You know, I I knew I was one assist away, but you know, I was just gonna go out there and play the same game that I normally play: push the ball, push the tempo. Um, I know my teammates are gonna run with me, so uh, I know they're gonna run with me, and I'm gonna give them the ball. No, I'm just joking. I'm not giving him twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm a broke college kid, man. I need all the money I can have. Troy, how contagious is it uh, when those three balls start going down? Does everybody wants to take part and hit those things. Uh, I mean, really, it's not like it's not like we come out and that's our like game plan is just to shoot threes. We just shoot the open shots, um, drive and get the ball inside, get it rotated outside, and then this and they just knock down the three. Or we get in transition. Like uh, one example, I get in a tra in transition, I pass it back to Yogi for the three. Just shooting the right shot at the right time. Troy, how easy is it to score when you're playing with Yogi? He talked about getting you all the ball. How much easier is your job the way he's feeding it? He's gonna give us the ball in the right spot and uh, where we can make plays at, and then we, uh, like he he trusts us with the ball, and we trust him to give us the ball as well, and we trust to give him the ball. And he makes the right plays. For Max and Yogi, I mean, you guys are look like a different defensive team than you were the first month, month and a half of the season. What changed? You know, I think we had a, you know, just our our mindset. It's you know we're really focusing in. We you know, we were a lot clear on, you know, what we want to do. You know, there was a little bit of uncertainty sometimes in the past, and I think we just really worked on that in practice and just kind of, you know, harped the, the small things and playing that, that defense as a unit. You know, everyone, you know, being there for each other, if, you know, if there's emergency help or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I think we've, we've really kind of, you know, um, worked on that to a point where, you know, we're, it's not getting talked about as much where, you know, we have that, that defensive liability. I think we, I think we just, you know, worked on it enough where, uh, you know, we're starting to be that defensive team we want to be. Yeah, um, to go off that, it's basically a mindset, you know, like Max said. Um, you know, we didn't really know what we were doing, you know, to start off with, but I felt like we got better concepts, and we work on those concepts every day in practice. You know, we're just going to carry that to the game. And, you know, with that, we got to have that mindset, okay, we want to get a stop. And, you know, we want to hold them under a certain field goal percentage. And, you know, when we do that, when we get multiple stops in a row, you know, that's what, you know, gets us going and gets our offense going. Max, you were, oh, sorry. Uh, Yoga, when you were checking out for the last time uh, at the end of the game, coach kind of grabbed your hand and raised it in the air like you just won like a hip way of prize fight. <laughs> How cool was that? Uh, yeah, I know he was going to do that. Um, <laughs> I thought he was just trying to give me a handshake, but, uh, you know, that's pretty cool, man. You know, all the fans cheering for me and, you know, I just shows how special Hoosier Nation is and, you know, all the fans are behind us. some level, when you lose a player like that, it just sharpens everybody's, or it has to sharpen everybody's focus a little bit at both ends of the floor and practice wherever because you understand the impact that's lost. 
I, w I would definitely say, I mean, especially, you know, last year with, you know, all the guys that went down when I was a senior in Michigan, um, you know, we, we saw that firsthand and, you know, losing James was that same sort of effect. You know, it, one of our key guys goes down and, you know, it's that next man up mentality of a freshman new, you know, you're going to get a chance, you got to go in there and start playing like a veteran. And uh, I think, you know, so far we've seen some big things out of our young guys and everyone that stepped up is stepping up really well. One note on uh, Max, his brother-in-law, from if you don't know, his brother-in-law <coughs> is Myers Leonard who played center at Illinois and is now with the Portland Trailblazers. So I imagine you have a text waiting for you. When, uh, I haven't checked it, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming. Start something at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Max, you are going to be forever linked with that assist, even though Yogi didn't know it was you. I didn't know it was me either. <laughs> um, what's that like for you? Hey, that's awesome to be something, you know, to be a part of that. It's, you know, it's, it's a heck of a record, you know, it just shows how talented he is and the guys he's played with, you know, I've been on the other end of that before and you know, trying to stop him and it's a lot more fun to be, you know, receiving those passes instead of trying to defend him. Yogi, do you know much about Michael Lewis? I don't. Was he the previous one, previous record? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not up to date with the uh, record holders. Um, you know, I think I've learned that it hasn't been too difficult playing here. You know, I basically like to take what the defense gives me. And, you know, they got to take something away. And each game is going to be something different. And it just depends on what the game has given me, what the game has given our team. Uh, first mindset is just push the ball. And if, you know, I can drive to the rim and score a quick bucket, I'll do that. But, you know, I just want to push it and try and find my teammates. You guys both set. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Yogi, obviously you've been here four years. Um, you've been on some really good IU teams. Where would you rank this one in terms of the chemistry so far through the, this part of the season? Uh, this chemistry is great. Um, I'd probably rank it with my freshman year, I'd say. Um, just us being in, in one mind, um, I feel like collectively we know what we want to do. And if we, when we know what we want to do, um, we're unstoppable. Yogi and Max, you both said that you kind of didn't really know what you were doing defensively early on. I mean, how, how has that <clears throat> changed or how has it become clear to you? How uh, has the coaching changed? Yeah, no, I mean, I'd say you, you got to think about, you know, you got a lot of new guys coming. You know, you got Thomas guarding Kyle's ball screens for the first time. You got all these new pieces. And, uh, you know, you, you, you practice them in, you know, for, you know, October, September, all those months. And, you know, you finally get into the game and you got, Teams throwing all sorts of different things at you, and you know it's it, you're guarding some different different athletes, different players, and I think it just took us a little bit to kind of you know figure out what we needed to do, and what was most effective. So I think it was it was partially that, it was partially you know the, what we were talking about earlier with the mindset, but you know I think definitely just the repetitions uh, and all the guys and everyone just you know kind of playing as one unit. Yogi, you've been in this position before, the top dog in the Big Ten, but now what do you tell some of these younger players on your team? about what to expect each night now that everyone's done for the undefeated game. Yeah, I mean, we got a bull's eye on our back, you know, being the number one team in the Big Ten now. So we got to take it day by day. You know, we definitely can't let up now, especially. So, well, every day is going to be a process for us. And, you know, even though we've set a standard for where we want to be and where we've met, you know, we want to push that standard up for us. And, you know, we just want to be great. Uh, no, not really. That's why I don't really like looking to all that stuff. You know, I like to focus in on the games. Uh, you know, I like to focus in on my film, uh, my extra work. Because uh, at the end of the day, you know, people aren't going to really remember the assist records. You know, they're going to remember, you know, whether you won games or not. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that just picks our energy up and, you know, that takes away the energy from the other team. You know, when we're just moving the ball around, sharing it, and those guys going on spurts like that, you know, that just shows what we, what we can do as a team and our capability.